goodness me. Come here. Oh, it's time for your debut. Let's close that. Finally, I'm filming this video and I'm not overtired. Great things happen when you quit your job that you fucking hate. Can I also say my hair is like getting so long now, like holy crap. I might actually try and straighten it, but I feel like it's going to look really weird. So that's why it kind of looks like this. And I only flip it to the side because I feel like it looks a little bit nicer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little hot. Just put it there. Okay. <laughs> hey, beautifuls. So today I am giving you guys a what's in my purse video. You guys have been requesting this for quite a while now, and it is one of my favorite favorite if not my favorite video to do because this tag means a lot to me if you don't know this is pretty much like the first type of video I ever uploaded to my channel when I wanted to start uploading videos so if you guys want to see that and all of my previous what's in my purse videos I will link them all down below in a playlist so you guys can go and watch if you would like so it's been about I think almost a year since my last one so I figured it was time for a new one and a lot of you guys have been on my Instagram and like when are you gonna do what's in my purse when are you gonna do what's in my purse well we're, we're gonna do one right now so y'all can come down okay <laughs> I'm really excited I love my purse so so much from Primark and I feel like it's like a ripoff of like a Celine bag or something I don't know but I really like it because it's structured and I underestimated how big it was when I bought it I'm not even gonna lie because in here it is massive like I can fit so much shit in here it's not even funny it's just really nice I love it and it comes with this little shoulder strap so when I don't want to wear it on my arm like like a basic bitch I got a nice shoulder strap to just hang over my shoulder very nice quality and it's I love I love it I love it so much it's like one of my favorite purses ever and it feels like a really nice purse if you have a pre-mark or if you want to check out pre-mark online like definitely go and do it because you will not regret it with that being said let's just get started so if we start with the outside Side of my bag there is a little bit of like this fake animal print I don't think it's real so don't worry and I wouldn't have bought it if it was real cuz fuck that as usual I have my little pups right here as I have on all of my purses we open this up I only have like lip glosses in here that I feel like I might wear <laughs> but then I don't they're just in here for emergencies I have a few of the beauty rush squeezy glasses one is called kiwi kiss and the other is electric strawberry from victoria's secret then i also have this plush glass from mac this is the ellie golding collection in explosion it is one of my favorites as you guys know this is in here because i was actually gonna wear it last weekend but i ended up not even wearing makeup at all so this, that just pretty much sat in there the whole time and then i have this vanilla bean noel squeezy tube because i never had one from bath and body works it was nice and shimmery and sparkly for the holidays so i had to get that going into the big part as you guys you guys probably already saw I have my water bottle in here because I went to run errands with my mom this morning I've had a pressure headache I think since last night and it's still there a little bit probably from stress and being of course, dehydrated so I decided to just bring some water with me and that's why that's in here so next I <laughs> I wish I had a more valued reason for why these are in here. No, I'm kidding. I just went to Aldi's this morning with my mom and I ended up getting myself a pack of these chocolate chunk cookies. They are amazing. If you have an Aldi's near you, you need to try these. These are the Village Bakery chocolate chunk cookies and they are so good. I had a couple this morning. I honestly just wanted something sweet because I've been so stressed out and freaked out about everything and, and anxious and all that kind of lovely shit. So I decided to just get some for myself and I just threw them in my purse after. So then I have some feminine wipes. These are the light floral scent cleansing wipes, the up and up target brand. I love being clean, keeping up with my hygiene and you know, showering all the time, deodorant, perfume, like I'm obsessed. Granted down there, I like to be fresh too because I feel like with all of us ladies, some, something that we're kind of insecure about and I used to be really like, oh, Oh my gosh I don't uh, nah. these are amazing anytime I feel gross if you have your period these are bomb like you need to go and get them I actually smell exactly like the ones that always has I don't know if they if they still have them on the pads each one of their pads used to come with like an individual wipe so you could like clean yourself and then change your pad out which was so fucking awesome those were my favorite that was my shit in middle school it's like yeah I got these pads with these cool wipes so I can always be clean it was amazing so these smell exactly like them I pretty much use these anytime I feel gross down there or if I forget to shower which is like a rarity because I like to shower every day and then my period these come in handy I'm sorry for that rant about my period but those really are amazing like they are a godsend I have a couple coupons in here I think they're both expired yeah yeah I have one for Maybelline matte and poreless and then one for a Maybelline mascara that just expired my mom was gonna use them yesterday I have here a receipt from Target this was from 
those cupcake kisses, Dunkin' Donuts coffee, coffee mate, uh, toothpaste for David. I bought a Wet n Wild lipstick, uh, some more pads, some gel clings, and I got some uh, clothespins for my project I'm gonna do with my pictures. Sunglasses. These are my knockoff Ray-Bans from Walmart. They were five dollars, and they're all black and these are the glasses I wear pretty much all the time. If you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat then you already know. My Michael Kors wallet, I just have all of my essentials in here as usual like debit card, credit card, cash, uh, coupons, whatever, store cards, all the usual suspects in there. My keys which has dramatically diminished in size because I felt like I was carrying so many keychains and I really didn't have a lot of keys so I was like why am I carrying all this to begin with? I have here the little Frappuccino Starbucks. This little Victoria's Secret pink one my friend Mika got me. Bob for my gym. Key to the deadbolt on my door right here because I had some issues. People going in my room when I wasn't around. <coughs> ween, <coughs> ween. Library card on here, movie card, CVS, Petco, and Stop and Shop. And my Menchie's card because I love Froyo. Then as usual, I still have this little bottle of Batiste dry shampoo in here for emergencies, for when I'm out, if my hair's really greasy because as you guys know, now that... I'm not dyeing my hair anymore. It gets more greasy than I'd like to admit. Mm -mm. So next I have another Target receipt here from uh, February 5th. Oh, we ended up buying some baby stuff for uh, a friend of ours. Some deodorant. Yeah, we got some deodorant for David and uh, I got a little like bag for makeup which I didn't even really need and I'm gonna be returning so no worries not sure why these are in here but I have some napkins I, I don't I don't know sometimes things just end up in here and I have no idea straw wrapper probably from Duncan my little emergency kit this is a little hard candy little bag it says keep calm and glow on and in here is just all the usual stuff that I talk about pretty much in every video I've got pads band-aids allergy pills Tums, uh, Junior Strength, Tylenol because I'm a baby and I can't swallow pills, liners, eye drops for when I have my allergies and my eyes just bother me so badly, Neosporin, some acne fighting gel stuff from e.l.f. Just all in here. I really wanted to start picking apart at my purse of things that I don't actually need in there so I just have this for my little emergency kit now. I have this cute little gummy worm case which is basically all of like my nail stuff. I've got nail files, my sewing scissors. I actually used to trim my eyebrows. They they are amazing for trimming your eyebrows fun fact there's tweezers there's multiple pairs of nail clippers I've got more nail scissors and some nail files this comes in handy Dave is usually the one that's always going in here <laughs> got some gloves. these are from Primark they were a dollar and they are the best dollar I ever spent my entire life because they have the little texting things on them but they actually work it's not like you have to really press on it to get it to work but these these work like amazingly so I love these gloves and they keep me nice and warm I have I have a expired coupon for L'Oreal. <laughs> so these are not supposed to be in the big compartment of my purse. They're supposed to be on the outside. I have some Orbit Sweet Mint gum. I love Sweet Mint and Spearmint. Orbit's my favorite brand of gum ever. I love them to death in case I forgot to brush my teeth. I want to freshen my breath. And then I have my oil blotting sheets that I don't use these enough. Honestly, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't use these enough, but they're in here in case I need them. Mostly in the summer, I feel like it's when I break them out. Oh, I have a dirty napkin. It's got my old lipstick on it from Duncan. Ugh, so gross, Sam. You're like so disgusting. I'm quite aware. Believe me. I know I suck. My little coin purse. This is just a little Victoria's Secret heart purse and in here is just all of my coins in case anyone needs them for paying or whatever. Uh, Danielle kind of inspired that because she always would carry change. Always like, why the hell are you carrying change? Like there's no point. But then all the time she ended up using it and it seemed to be a lot more beneficial than just using cash alone. So I don't know. I just keep it for emergencies too. I have this little Victoria's Secret brush, which I love. It's one of the best hair brushes I've actually ever used. And David and I both use this, nobody else. So that's probably not even good to say, but we both use it from time to time, him more than me. But now that he keeps his hair really short, he doesn't use it as much. Another expired coupon for the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Then I have a coupon for a dollar off one full-size hard candy cosmetic product that I did not get to use yesterday. I'm very sad about it. Hand cream, my Victoria's Secret Pink Ultimate Hand Cream and Sunkissed. I have a few backups of these. I'm so sad they discontinued them. I mainly use this in the winter time because I don't know, I feel like it's a genetic thing but my mom and I when we get really cold our hands start to prune and we drink a lot of water like we try to eat good you know like I don't think it's like I don't know I don't know if it has anything to do with what we're eating I think it's just a genetic thing to be honest but sometimes when my hands start to get pruny I just put a little bit of this on there and it usually kind of helps them to not feel so dry and like pruned and weird like oh it just ugh, I hate I hate that feeling so much so that helps <laughs> 
fresh and clean my favorite scent i love this scent so much oh my goodness gracious i love fresh and clean so much i have a backup of this somewhere over there and i have the big one it's my favorite scent ever from pink and i just have this little battery which is really cool because if you hit it twice on the top it turns into like a little flashlight so you can use it at night or whatever this was only ten dollars at premark and it's the best battery i've ever bought i've had the victoria's secret one i had one from target i've had multiple ones and none of them compared to this this is amazing it feels like really heavy and good quality all you do of course is just charge it up if you need it for your phone you just plug your phone into it and you're good to go and this actually packs a punch and it charges and it charges it really good and it doesn't like stop charging too which was something I always hated this is also not supposed to be in that part but I have my little two-sided zebra mirror that I love to death this is amazing this is one of the best mirrors and best investments I ever bought I got this from uh, Ocean State job lot and it has like a zoomed in mirror on the top and then a regular one on the bottom the last thing in the big part is my mace of course Course, I have this for emergencies I never ever want to be in a situation where I feel like I have to use it but I have it in case anything did happen I also do have a little pocket knife but I think it's still in one of my other purses so it's not in here right now again just for security reasons and to protect myself in case anything happens I never want there to be a time where I had to use any of those things but you know, you can never be too careful, especially with how crazy this world is right now. Ugh. Oh wait, I have a gum wrapper. I take that back. I had a gum wrapper in there. Oh, from Dairy Queen, I had a ice cream because David's mom and I like to get ice cream. I like to get Dairy Queen every single week when she picks me up, so that's in there. So next in my little tiny compartment right here, I just have another pair of sunglasses. These are the ones that I got from Premark, and they are so 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 cute they look like those like expensive ones but they were only like three dollars yes three dollars and they are so cute they feel really well made quality they're adorable but I feel like I could only wear these when I'm like feeling myself you know what I mean so all the other times I just throw on my fake radiance and then I have oh hey I have Viva Glam Miley in here because I was wearing that last week love this lipstick and my soft lips chapstick in marshmallow ghost which is just the Halloween one just a chapstick soft lips amazing brand for chapstick I have a couple pens in case I need to write stuff down the last thing in here is this EOS shimmer which is my only EOS ever it's the only EOS I've ever liked and I really love it because it's very moisturizing and it gives you like a nice sheen to your lips as well if you don't want to put on lipstick if you don't want to put on you know anything on your lips and you're going out this is awesome it gives you just a nice little pink sheen it's nice and shimmery but it also moisturizes too so I have this in there in case my lips are ever dry or if I just want to have something and I don't want to put on gloss so yeah that was pretty much everything in my purse I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, helped you out in some way and I hope you guys enjoy the videos this week I am really really excited for them I am so happy to just be free and to focus on videos looking for another job and school and just just be back where I love to be with you guys and I feel like I'm just I feel really happy now like I feel really happy I feel a lot better too so I don't want you guys to worry anymore I'm good we're gonna get back in the game and we are not gonna let anything stop us I'll cur, I'll cur, what? I'll cur, I'll cur, I'll cur. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that because I suck. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed. And please, again, hit the bell. I know it's annoying. Every YouTuber says it, but YouTube is not notifying people when videos are up. So please click the bell and you will be notified on your phone, on your computer when I post, which is fucking amazing. And I am gonna try and start posting, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, now the most annoying part is putting everything back in. Nah.